Potter Puppets, welcome back to the channel, Anna. Happy New Year! I think 2024 is absolutely spot on for you and me too. There are exciting things coming to this channel and um, I can't wait to share everything with you but it is the annual video, the first video of the year, what I got for Christmas. If you're new to this channel and it's the first time you are seeing this face, what a perfect time to hit that subscribe button. First video of the year, join the year with me. Join 2024, see what I have in store for you. If you love anything magical and fun, then this is the place for you. Join the Magic and Mayhem, hit subscribe because I told you to. Well, I'm, I'm not your mum, I can't tell you what to do, but you know, just, it would help. You might enjoy it, it's free. If you don't like me, unsubscribe. There's no contract signing here, nothing. <laughs> subscribe. Anywho, I'm excited to show you what I've got. Um, I got some very exciting Christmas presents, especially one, and it's it's a YouTube thing, this, with videos in it. You save the best for last, I show you the best for last. Um, I love everything, but the very, the, the present that really, like, I've always wanted one. Oh my days! Yeah, I'm showing you that last, because, yeah. So, <sighs> Look at these, these are gorgeous. This is the only non-Harry Potter thing I got, but how, they're pyjamas. And this, oh, they're just so soft, and they've got little hearts on them, and it's navy, which I love. They're really nice, I do really like these. And then we've got the bottoms to match. Oh, they're so cute. Absolutely love them. They will get worn a lot. What's it like inside? I didn't feel, it is the same on this side. I didn't feel on this side. I don't know if it's going to be, yeah, yeah. The next thing, everything else is Harry Potter, oh, apart from the thing that I've always wanted. Oh, So, the pyjamas were off Matt's mum and dad. They did also give me money and um, we'll talk about the money that I got off people at the end because it sort of ties into what's coming this year. <laughs> so my little sister got me, I've never seen this before, it's not in the packaging because I have used them. So it is Luna Lovegood items. So, oh my days, look at them, they're so nice. So we have got a body spray, which I have used, to be fair, I've used it a few times, lot, but there's still loads, like it's like I've not even touched it. Amazing. And then we've got a body wash that, uh, yes, it is gorgeous, oh my days. Oh, I've not opened this. I thought I'd opened this. Is it the body lotion I've opened? Hang on. No, I've not opened that. I, I, I thought I'd opened them. Oh no, I know what I've done. I'm assuming they all smell the same, but it's this. Oh, smell. Oh, it's so nice. It is so, so nice. Have you seen these before? I've not seen them. They come in a box. Obviously, all three of them came together. I'm going to have to... I need to see if they smell the same. Hold up. So let's open the body wash. Let's give it a smell. It's similar, it's very, oh it's so sweet, just like Luna. Oh smell, oh that is lovely that is. Right, I'm gonna put that back on before I squirt this everywhere. I'm gonna have to smell the body lotion now just to see if that smells like the body wash. Yeah, that smells like the body spray 100%. Oh, it is so, so nice, so nice. If you smelled it before, I wish that I was able to give you that. I don't have a camera that can help you smell things. I don't think anyone does, so I don't feel as bad, but this smells amazing. Okay, the next thing I got, this was off mat. Now, this is from Tesco, and I did put a reel up on Instagram, Face, and Facebook of this thing. Uh, did I put it on YouTube as well? I can't remember. But this is one of them, as you call, Udis. And, oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. Now, I've got, let me show you, this dressing gown. Okay, this was from Tesco a few years ago now. It is still absolutely in great nick. I'm not throwing it out. Just one problem with it, the pocket on this side, if you can see, it's ripped. Oh, it's ripped, the other pocket's fine though. But yeah, when I put my phone in that pocket, I know about it because it falls out because it's not deep enough anymore because of the rip. But on the sleeves, I think it is. Hold on, let me show you. Yeah, if you can see, look, it's worn away off there. Look, that's perfect and it's worn away off the sleeves. I'm hoping this doesn't do that, but if it does, it does. But it's just so magical. Just look at that sparkle. And that is throughout the entire thing. It is so fluffy. That is literally, that's the hood. The hood's massive, by the way. I'm not putting it on because I'm really warm. And this is warm. It's just so, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God, it's so fluffy. I wish you could feel it, feel it. So yeah, I got that off mat. On for the next. 
So, a very, very good friend of mine, he got me this Harry Potter box here, and inside said Harry Potter box, oh, there is foam, suspense continues. We've got a Ravenclaw pen, hang on, a Ravenclaw pen. That is fancy, that is posh, let's get it out of the box, let's have a look. How lovely is that? It is gorgeous, I absolutely love it. It's stunning. I just, I don't really, it's like a metal, it's cold. It's cold, so I'm, I'm guessing it's a metal. Feels nice in your hand. I think if you wrote an essay with it, your hand would ache though, because it does have a bit of weight to it. it. Does have a bit of weight to it, but that is fancy. It's really fancy. I absolutely love the pen, and I love the box it came in too. It's gorgeous. We've got a wand. We've got a wand. Can you guess before I open this? Let me know in the comments quickly. Guess what wand this is, because it's going to be hard to guess because obviously I'm not showing you the name or anything, but. It is a licensed wand, it's a very special wand, a very powerful wand, you should have got it by now. You got it? I'm just opening the box. Oh, it is beautiful. I'll take it out of the box so you've got a minute more to guess and get your writing said. Right, I'm showing you. Dumbledore's wand. We have got the Elder Wand and how lovely is this wand? It is, it's lovely but it's also dangerous owning this wand. It is extremely dangerous but no one knows I have it, you do. But my address isn't online, nobody knows where I live, it's fine. There will be no killings for this wand. I will not sacrifice myself. Thank you for your sacrifice. I like it, it's really, really nice. This is also from my friend as well. Absolutely love it. And my friend did give me something else as well, which I will get to now. So I have seen these about, and every time I see it in a shop, I keep picking it up and looking at it. Well, he got me it for Christmas. It's the Harry Potter Hagrid's Hut terrarium i had to find it on the box then because i can never pronounce terrarium unless i see it i always go to say i always put an n in it i don't know why but i always put an n in it so <clears throat> i am excited to do this and i am going to do this in a video so stay tuned stay tuned but i do love the look of this i'm hoping that my painting skills will get this looking really good we'll soon see but you've got yeah hagrid's hut terrarium um the contents are ampoule i don't know what that is peat grit seeds temper tempera paints glue mold for plaster of paris cast paintbrush spatula bag of plaster of paris calcium sulfate and an illustrated manual so there is a um instructions which is awesome and there's a picture of everything there that you get in the box i don't even know if i was showing you it i'm sorry when i was reading but i am super excited to do this like i said it's something that i have kept looking at when i go in shops and i finally have it in my possession and i can't wait to do it because it's creative and we know what i'm like <clears throat> well obviously 2023 lacked a bit of the creativeness but <laughs> let me talk to you in a second now i'm going to show you my favorite 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 thing um matt bought me this he knows i've always wanted one and when i opened it i was like oh my days you got me one <sighs> i've got a polaroid camera i have always wanted a polaroid for those of you that do know obviously you know if you don't know i am a photographer i did have a photography business that i lost during covid which yes it upsets me but obviously i still do photography i will always be a photographer it's not like i'm not a photographer anymore but this is like the only camera that i haven't got I'm steaming up. It's the only camera that I didn't have, like style of camera. I have got my camera for filming. I have got my photography camera. I now have, I've got old cameras as well, but I now have a Polaroid, an instant, yes, instant. They come out of here. When you turn it on, you see on the back there, oh, it needs charging. <laughs> charging right i need to charge it on the back though you saw that it tells you how many shots are in you can fit eight in at a time let me show you now they are quite expensive but this was the box matt bought me some shots with it there's a little picture there look it comes pops out here it's quite easy to assemble and it's quite straightforward which is awesome there was 16 in this but they came in two packets so eight in each packet you slot them in do what it says on the instructions and you're away i have took some photos and i will show you why did i want a polaroid camera that vintage look on the photo it's just got that vintage look and i love that i am obsessed with old worldy i mean it's probably why i'm in love with the wizarding world so much but 
let me show you my photos <laughs> right the first two photos that i'll show you because i took one two three four five there's six here because i had two left Susie so maths this was the first photo that I took. It has come out blurry. Jamie is an absolute blur of a mess. But there is a mirror on the front of the Polaroid here. That is a little mirror as well. So you can do selfies. <clears throat> but I moved as I took the photo. And Jamie must have moved as well. So it came out quite blurry. Nevertheless, though, I still love it. It is a lovely family photo stood in front of our Christmas tree on Christmas Day, and I love it. The second photo, let me tell you, it's a funny story. So I went to take a picture of Matt and the boys because I, obviously that with that photo being blurry, I was a bit sort of bothered about it because, they, you know, they're not cheap, these cameras. So... <laughs> so I got them all to stand there and it wouldn't take the photo. It would not take the photo. So why is it not taking the photo? So Matt took the camera off me sort of <clears throat> obviously this is where it takes the whatever that's the viewfinder so it takes whatever it's looking at Matt was like this and it took and it came out with this so that's Matt's forehead he's looking into the camera there sausage but again it's funny I'm keeping it um for me any photo is good it's they're all memories they're all memories and I will always laugh at that now the next four they, they come out really well so this is what it's like I think I've figured out um that you hold the button down until it takes and that's why that's that's how you do it and hold not massively still I think it's because I was trying to reach really far out because there was four of us in the photo my kids are on the playstation they've still got another day off by the way if you can hear them they're playing a game on the playstation but yeah I was trying to take this selfie with four of us so I was really trying to reach out with the camera and I just think like camera shake it's just fine but there's Jamie sat in his bedroom it just comes out so vintagey and I love it right next we have me I did manage I wanted to try the selfie again and this selfie came out absolutely fine so yeah I am happy with the selfie mode you know what I mean and then I took one of Declan he sat in front of the living room window absolutely it's just i don't know it's just that vintage look on them and then the last one was took christmas day round my mum and dad's we went to my mum and dad's in the evening and um i took one to show mum obviously what it was like and yeah again it's come out really really well honestly i absolutely love it but matt was saying because <laughs> obviously i took um one of myself one of declan and one of jamie and he was like what about one of me and i was like there's one of you he was like it's my forehead i was like but it's still you i'm not wasting them they're expensive but i think for 16 shots i think it was 18 pound i think matt said so it's not a camera that I'll be using willy-nilly. I do kind of want to take it, If for those, those of you that don't know, I have another YouTube channel and I go go something. It's called Fort Spooky. If you are interested, go check it out and subscribe if you want to. Paranormal investigations, paranormal chats, blah, blah, blah. But I think it would be a really cool idea to take it on a paranormal investigation because when you take photos, and if, if I ever caught anything on a photo right, you'd get that's photoshop that's that you can't do that with these like you can't so if i'm filming myself take a photo it's not a setup because it's on video do you know what i mean so i might take it out with me but again it's just that off chance that one photo maybe in an investigation might catch something which won't happen like that well let's let's face it but yeah i'm so happy with that on it i was just so thankful and yeah i've always wanted a polar one and i've got one so this is what i got to undo but i did get christmas money as well um there's nothing here off my mum and dad because they gave me christmas money they do that every year they give us christmas money and we just like get obviously what we want um matt's mum and dad got me the pajamas and some christmas money oh they also got me some bed socks as well that are just i won't show you them they're <laughs> you know what bed socks are but they're really fluffy and soft and I think there was two or three pairs in the pack so I am happy because I did need some because I do have my favorite ones they're pink and they're so fluffy but they are on the way out so I was in need for some new ones I'm still not chocking my pink ones though because they're just mine and comfy but with my money first off we went to um, my favorite Harry Potter shop in Meadow Hall in Sheffield and I came, out, I came out with nothing because it's changed in there at the moment. There doesn't seem to be sort of as much. And it was really bad actually because I looked in, they have like glass cabinets. And I looked in and I was like, I had most of it. 
they didn't have a lot in there i'm not saying i've got everything because i certainly have not i cannot afford that <laughs> but um yeah they didn't really have an awful lot so i came away from meadow hall with nothing luckily the boys managed to find things with their christmas money so it wasn't a wasted trip it was it was lovely uh because jamie really wanted the lego store because you can make three figures for five pound 99 which i think is amazing you can design three figures and you put them in a box and you take it to the till and you get obviously your, your torso legs head hair or hat and an accessory for each lego figure so he made some quite cool ones <sighs> but me and matt came out with nothing matt um i won't bore you with what matt wants it's all playstation related um gadgets for the playstation but i wasn't sure what i wanted and then it hit me there is something creative coming to this channel and i am excited to show you i am it actually in the middle of doing one at the moment um i have filmed bits of the process it's a project i was doing over christmas just to chill and try um but i was filming snippets just in case i actually liked how it turned out and wanted to show you because it's just a practice run luckily i have been filming the process because i want to show you when it's finished because i'm really happy with it now the channel members um have had exclusive little photos of it and i've done an exclusive video for them as well they have seen what it's looking like so far but being creative is something that this channel was meant to be all about when i started this channel it was because of this room that i'm stood in now this is our bedroom and <clears throat> Matt always wanted me to do YouTube and I never wanted to do it and then all of a sudden I created a video and said I've done a video and it just sort of went from there but the whole point was to get creative I mean we built me and my dad built the Weasley clock now this section here it was different when I first started the channel it has had some change ups especially the very bottom the very bottom is Borgen and Burks this is obviously Weasley Wizard Wheezes and then we've got sort of like a Yule Ball section at the top there this was why I started to get creative. This past year, I've not been able to get as creative, um, mainly because of work purposes, but I have had some things hold me back, which I'm not gonna get into again, because I really don't wanna talk about it. But if you really need to know and want to know about it, there was a video at Christmas Day, the thumbnail says Merry Christmas, and I do talk about that a bit more in there, but I really don't wanna mention it again. I just wanna get creative. So Christmas money all went on, new things for projects and yeah if DIY is your sort of thing and you're still here and you're new then subscribe because you might enjoy and get ideas I might you know inspire people this year to make things and yeah I'm, I'm really really excited the wizarding world runs in my veins we all know this so it's all going to be magical related all geeky wizarding world just proper geeky stuff there might not the all the DIYs might not be Harry Potter related or Wizarding World related most of them will be though because <laughs> I have a list ready of things I want to make and most of it is Harry Potter but there are some things on there that aren't but they're still magical and fun and you might still enjoy them um anyway yeah um that is what I got for Christmas and obviously I've kind of told you where the money's gone well I have told you where the money's gone but you'll have to wait and see for upcoming videos it's been a wonderful Christmas and I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas too Christmas day we kind of just stayed in um all day obviously got up in the morning we had breakfast well opened a presents I'd had breakfast um we had dinner at home Matt cooked a really nice beef dinner with all the trimmings it was amazing um, and then we went to my mum and dad's at night for drinks and games, um, which was really, really fun. Boxing day was a complete chill day. So was the next day. And then we went to Meadow Hall the next day. We've had quite just a very chilled, do you know what I mean? Very chilled. And then New Year's, we had my parents here with my little sister. We had drinks, played games. And yeah, it was, it was really fun. But it was very chilled, very nice. But I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas too. Let me know if you want to. What you got for Christmas in the comments. You can't show me pictures, obviously, in there, unfortunately. Excuse me. But if you want to show me pictures of what you got, you are more than welcome to send photos over to me and messages on social medias. And I can have a look. But I am going to go. Thank you so much for joining me today. What a wonderful first video. I I am so refreshed and raring to go on Potter Poppet YouTube channel. Susie is back and Susie is refreshed and I can't wait. 
Oh, so I didn't say this at the beginning and I am very, very sorry. I want to say a massive, a massive thank you to my channel members. You guys are awesome and you're really, really going to help this year. If you're interested in becoming a member, it's £2.99 a month and it helps me keep this channel running. Especially with what I'm wanna, with, 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 with what I want to do this year, it would help a lot. But I am going to go now and put all my Christmas things away and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye, Potter Poppets.